Welcome back here to New Hampton School in Kennedy Field, and I'm now joined by head coach Bonnie Lord of Plymouth State. And coach, a tough one here tonight, a one nothing loss to a very tough Falcons team. And it seems that it's kind of been this way against the Falcons the last couple of years, and they kind of have your number. Is that the way you see things? Well, I feel like they always come to play. Um, they have a, a new coach this year who's um, going to do some great things with the program, and she's a young, got some young kids, as do we. So we always, we never take them for granted. We always expect that there's going to be um, a fight when they come in. They played well tonight. They controlled the game. They controlled the ball. Um, so in that, I'm just, we weren't, uh, we weren't on tonight. Looking at the midfield, it looked like, as you said, it, was, it wasn't was really there. But there were some good takeaways, a lot of good contact, and uh, a lot of good turnovers that you were able to create and also some fouls. Is there some positives you take away from this, though, for the midfield and into the attack? Well, I think that what we have to take away from it is what we need to work on. Um, we thought that we were pretty well set, that we had covered what we knew they were going to bring. Um, yeah, I'm disappointed that we didn't, uh, we weren't more consistent than we can be. Um, the midfield, I felt, struggled in the first half. And when your transition game is, is uh, being challenged, then, you know, then things get a little bit tougher. Looking at things, you've had two great breakaways in the second half. Uh, talk us through both of those. What did you see on the sideline? Was it just the field con conditions where that ball just kind of seemed like it stopped in the turf? Or was there something other factor at play that didn't allow you guys to finish off those uh, counterattacks? Well, the key word in all of that is finish. Um, the passes were there. I think there were probably three throughout the game. And we had our opportunities tonight, no doubt. And hats off to uh, Abby Bryant from Worcester State for getting the ball. Every time we put it on her pad, she got it out of there. Her defense got it out of there. Um, you know, I don't think the field conditions had anything to do with it. This is what we practice on. It gets mildewy down here, and the, the turf gets a little bit slower. But it's more about once you have the momentum on a breakaway, you don't stutter step, you don't drop step. You continue that momentum. You downshift to the next gear, and you go, go, go. And we did not do that on those times. Um, there was two opportunities for a nice give and go with somebody to pull the keeper one way and open up the side on the other. And we had a couple of nice crossing passes come right across to the left wing that just went sailing out of bounds. So it's about finishing. That's, that's a good word, finishing. And that's what we need to work on with Western Connecticut coming because they will come in ready to play as well. We always have a good game with them. And um, we, we need to get back on our game. You talk about Western Connecticut. They're coming off of a 5 nothing win at home against Salem State tonight. What do you guys need to do? We talked about finishing. You talked about that intensity. But what else is missing heading into that game on Saturday for your team? Um, consistency in our passes, moving the ball up the field, making sure that when we do dribble, we're not dribbling directly into the next player. Um, we worked really hard the last couple of days on passing the ball into space, creating openings, people moving, cutting, moving to the ball, of which I really didn't see any tonight. So we go back to making sure that we're staying on task with that. And lastly, it's a big game here on Saturday, not only because it's another conference game, but there's a special event. Tell us about what's happening on Saturday here. Oh, on Saturday, we're celebrating our third anniversary with Ariel Bullia, a little gal that we adopted at two and a half years old uh, three years ago. Um, she's a, a brain cancer survivor. And uh, we have a nice little day planned with some uh, excitement and a nice tailgate afterwards. And we have some recruits coming in. so. We're really looking forward to a big celebration on that day. Hopefully we can make it on the field and off the field. <laughs> Coach, thank you for your time. Tough luck here tonight, but we wish you the best on Saturday. Thanks, Dan. You guys are the best.